The industry is up and running and legal in seven states, but there are other states where it could be soon. Well, all of this has happened very quickly. Up until uh, recently, it was just Nevada where you could bet legally on sports. And in uh, May of last year, Supreme Court uh, lifted the ban. And so now there's just been a flurry of activity. So there's been several states that have passed bills this year that are in the process of, of getting uh, live operators to go. And there are live operators in these seven states already, including New Jersey right beside mm -hmm. us here. What are the new products DraftKings is launching for this NFL season? We have a lot of exciting stuff going. So on our Daily Fantasy product, which is uh, available in 43 states, that's probably what most of your viewers can use, uh, we have two really exciting million-dollar top prize contests, starting with Thursday. Um, so Thursday, there's a $10 entry one, two and a half million prizes, first place a million, second place 100,000, so on and so forth. As long as you finish in the top 62,000, thousand five hundred you'll get a prize <laughs> but the cool thing about that is that somebody is going to sit down put in ten bucks watch the Thursday night football game and at the end of the game is going to be a millionaire yes one person okay there were reports last year that you were trying to raise two hundred million dollars but then it, it didn't happen what's what's the story now with fundraising do you need to fundraise we did end up raising money last year. I don't know if we officially announced anything, but we, we did. Um, and, you know, we're always interested. We don't need money at the moment, but, uh, you know, there's different opportunities, such as being able to launch in new states that we think could potentially uh, be a good use for new investor capital. How much did you raise and who from? Uh, I don't think we can. We didn't announce it, so I probably shouldn't talk about it, but it was in the neighborhood of what you discussed. Okay. Now, can you remain independent? FanDuel and, and, and others like Stars Group, for example, have partnered with people. You haven't partnered publicly with anybody. Well, we have a variety of partners, but we haven't yet and may not attach ourselves really to one partner. We think that there's a lot of very interesting things we can do with a variety of partners, so we're trying to be that. And uh, you know, but we have announced a lot of partnerships. We had a partnership, big partnership with Penn National Gaming that we announced recently. Um, you know, and then we're always talking to, in addition to gaming companies, to sports leagues, media companies. So. We've had probably about 40 to 50 different partners across sports leagues, teams, and media companies over the last several years. Right, right. I should mention minor partnerships. Mm. So, for example, You mean Disney. more like an acquisition. Exactly. Um, you know, right now we think that what's best for our customers is for us to continue to just focus on building the number one product out there. We have the best rated app, and that's because of that singular focus we have. Sometimes when you're part of a bigger entity, it's harder. Um, but, you know, it's not really a focus for us. If something comes along, we'll listen, but it's not really what we're focused on right now. Right now we're just trying to go out and uh, do a great job providing a great experience for customers. Now Disney does own a piece of yes. DraftKings but doesn't want to really be in the sports, the online gambling business. How do you sort of navigate that trajectory? Well, you know, Disney, I think, is, uh, is a great partner to have because they have a tremendous amount of content assets, including, of course, ESPN, which everybody in the sports world knows is a, a big brand and has a huge reach. So they're a great partner to have. I think this is actually a really nice setup for both companies where, you know, maybe there's some concern on their end about directly going in with their own brands, their own licenses to launch these products. And this way they can do it with partner DraftKings that, um, you know, still gives them equity upside but doesn't require them to go out and enter it directly themselves. At least that's my hope. Well, that said, the idea now is that there is a bit of a land grab going on, right? Because you have some companies that are competing with each other and all these states that may be about to go live with, with gambling. Where are you targeting? You know, it's kind of crazy, you're right, because it seems like it's just everything happening at once. The reality is that with the state-by-state -state setup, that gives us a little time to be able to get up and running, to be able to go out and you know, spend locally on marketing and reaching new customers in those states, and also to have a conversation with partners while we see how things play out. So it's actually crazier. Uh, it would be even crazier if it were all of a sudden the whole U.S. Um, so the state-by-state -state thing's a little easier, but it does feel the way you're describing, where there's just a lot going on. So which states are about to go live? So right now, the ones that we're targeting to hopefully launch this NFL season are Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Indiana, and Iowa. And our hope is we can get all four live before the NFL season's over, hopefully towards the beginning of the NFL. And season. you actually work on legislation, right? You've helped pass bills. Well, we don't directly work on the legislation, but we certainly provide input. We think we have a lot of experience between fantasy and now also being one of the top players in Jersey for online sportsbook. And it's hopefully helpful to legislators to hear from us how things actually work out in the, in the wild. What kind of revenue are you targeting? 
Um, you know, for us, it's so dependent on new state launches, which is out of our control. But we think by the time there's a decent amount of coverage in the U.S., we'll be a multi-billion dollar company.